Hello, this is MapboxJam12 here, representing Point Blank Entertainment. This video is for auditioning for the Future Agents movie and some other things. These auditions will start today, and will close August 10th. The results video should be posted up the next day. More information will be given towards the end of the video. Characters! Amy Martin. She has a lower voice, but not manly. She is 21 years of age. We don't want someone sounding like a little kid. She doesn't have too much emotion in her voice, and she's almost always irritated. Maddie Slender. Basically, you're a cutesy type of kid. She's young and sounds high-pitched. She's annoying, especially to Amy. Professor Kyra. She's Brian Jones' wife and the one who does the research on the stuff the girls bring back. She likes to talk a bit and has a mediumish voice. Professor Brian Jones. Obviously Kira's husband. He stutters a lot and takes a lot of pauses. He's kind of a nerve, but we don't want some nasally voice. He's pretty cool. Admiral James Carner. He's a manly man who loves his job. He feels very superior, so somebody professional sounding would fit the description. He plays a pretty important part in the cast. Miss Valerie Suzuki. She finally has a first name. And this is Dr. Suzuki's wife. She's evil and loves to laugh evilly, of course. She's kind of the preppy type. She thinks she's better than everyone else. Something with a better than you tone will be perfect. Now, you may be wondering about Boss and Dr. Suzuki. Their parts have already been taken by the wonderful Marshall Michael 126. He's a very talented voice actor who previously voice acted for them. Go check out his channel if you haven't already. There are also minor parts involved in the movie. Some of them already have lines in because we use text-to-speech or family. Here are some of the minor parts. There are a lot of parts including upper rankings in the military. Anybody can audition for these, and I strongly suggest you do. We'll go with whatever fits you best. They will all have the same lines. Just sound professional and collected, that's all we ask. There is a husky man, motorcycle gang, whatever. He has one line, but we need someone with a lot of character. Good cop, bad cop, aka Kevin. He appears on and off in the movie. He's an apprentice, meaning he's new, so he might be a little insecure on duty. He needs to sound a little older with sort of a teenage pitch. FBI agents. They play a part later in the movie. There are also quite a few of them as well. The President. Yes, the President of the USA. He is in this movie. The President is someone noble, someone awesome. He doesn't show up towards the end of the movie, but he is very important. However, it is a small role. And yes, he is a guy. Sorry, ladies. As of right now, that's all we need. If anything should happen later on, we'll be sure to add something to this video. Now, with every audition, there should be roles, and here are some of ours. We would like nice microphone quality. Don't breathe into the mic, and don't seem too far away from it. If your microphone quality isn't that good, there are little things you could do to help it. Put a sock over it. That'll help drown out the background noise. Or get a better mic. You pay for what you get. If you know you won't have the time later on to do this, do not audition. What happens if you get the part, but then you can't do it for whatever reason? That puts so much stress on us. Actually try. If you don't put in any effort, then what would be the point of doing it? Just saying. If you're oversensitive, try not to audition. Pilot is going to be very strict about how the line should sound and will probably ask you to redo some over a few times. She wants this to be as close to perfect as possible. Don't bash other auditioners and don't say you can't. Be proud of yourself. Believe in yourself. You guys are awesome. No need to have zero faith. And if you use excuses such as, I'm sick, if you're sick, you shouldn't be auditioning. And with that, happy auditioning.